Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the first order partial derivatives of this function. So there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, method one is we can just do it. Uh, method two is we can use properties of logs to clean it up. Um, let's use properties of logs to clean it up and then do it uh, just for fun. So to use properties of logs, we'll start by rewriting our function as follows. Recall that when you have uh, the natural log of something times something else, you use the product rule. Remember the multiplication turns into addition. So this will become the natural log of x and then plus the natural log of y cubed. So the rule that I used here says if you have the natural log of a times b, that's equal to the natural log of a plus and then the natural log of b. So you can do that. Very powerful. One more rule we can use is the power rule. It basically says whenever you have an exponent like this, you can just bring it down and put it in the front. So we have f of xy, and that's equal to the natural log of x, plus, and now I'll bring down that 3, so 3 ln y. All right, good stuff. So now we're ready to go ahead and differentiate this. Let's do the partial with respect to x first. So del f, del x. So when you're computing the partial derivative of a function with respect to x, you treat all of the other variables as constants. So in particular, um, this natural log of y is a constant. And the derivative of a constant is 0. So here, when we take the derivative, we simply take the derivative of ln x, and that's 1 over x. And then this derivative here would be 0, so plus 0. So we just end up with 1 over x. And so that would be the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Let's do the partial of f with respect to y. So in this case, uh, all of the x's are constants. So when we take the derivative of the natural log of x, that's going to be 0 plus, and now this derivative here, ln y, well, the 3 is a constant, and we differentiate the ln y, and we get 1 over y. So this would be 3 over y. And those would be the first order partial derivatives.